Hey, hello children. So I'm just back with a new video and uh, we were discussing chapter number five, alternative ideas and initiatives. We have discussed up to Ure and Sons, the development of the printing press in Bengal and the contribution of Ure and Sons. Now, in this video, I'm just going to discuss about the development of science and technical education in Bengal. Development of science and technical education in Bengal. Whereas, we will just come to know from this video about Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science. I mean, IACS. Topic number two, it will be the Calcutta Science College. And number three, that will be Basu Vigyan Mandir or Bose Institute. So, let's get started. First of all, whenever we are just going to discuss about development of science and technical education in Bengal, children, from the first chapter, from the chapter of historiography, from this book, you have just come to know that science is called an umbrella term. Science is an umbrella term. Why so? Why is science called an umbrella term? You should know it very first. The first and foremost thing is that science is surely called an umbrella term as because science does not only cover a particular area means the area of discussing of this particular subject science is so long it's prolonged like there is no obstruction there is no hindrances in front of it isn't it actually the variation of different things subjects and also subject matters are different in this term science there is no particular thing by which you can just confine the term science you cannot just give a perfect definition of science so that's why the historians they have just perfectly called the word that science is an umbrella term and for that reason it was though it was very late a bit late it was uh, in the middle of the 19th century it means after 1850 the indians especially the bengalis they had for the first time undertaken they had just taken the initiatives to just set up some scientific uh, institutions research centers and all these things you know children that the british every time they had just uh, underestimated underestimated the indians that indians could not do anything without having help from the british government without having the help from the british administrator as well as the administration to prove them wrong this was for the very first time the indians also they had just undertaken few initiatives to show that without having a single aid from the british government they could do more this was the intention for that and that's why the name of the chapter is perfectly called alternative ideas and initiatives so on that basis i'm just, I'm just going to discuss about the first point my first point indian association for the cultivation of science the indian association for the cultivation of science this was introduced this was founded by mahendralal sirkar mahendralal sarkar in the year of 1876 on it was on 29th of July. So on 29th of July, 1876, Dr. Mahendralal Sarkar, he had just founded IACS, Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science. And this was for the very first time. This was non-profitable and non-governmental organization or a science research center that was founded for the very first time. It means by an Indian. The British for the first time when the uh, construction of this means when the means uh, this kind of uh, means uh, gossips were just going on that Mahendralal Sarkar is going to just uh, make or just build up uh, this kind of scientific research center for all the Indians, especially the young generations, those who were just aged between 19 and uh, 23. The British government, they were very shocked. Means they started laughing that uh, being an Indian, he just can uh, never do all these things. But finally, the day came as because indian association for the cultivation of science it means iacs it started its successful journey since 1876 on 29th of july now we must look after that who were the main two illustrious teachers of this institute or the research center oh before that i uh, means uh, really uh, want to mention one more point that 
the scientific research center that was constituted on the basic science it means different basic subjects will be chosen and on that basis the research will be just going on like chemistry physics physiology even evs environmental science was also there and many more the two main illustrious teacher of iacs or indian uh, association for the indian association for the cultivation of science were the first one was jc bose jagdish chandra bose and number two he was the nobel laureate you all know his name he was uh, the founder of the light effect or the raman effect in the year of 1928 obviously he was chandrasekhar venkatesh raman in short he was also known as the cv raman so cv raman he had just introduced the light effect of the or the raman effect and for the, in the year of 1928 and for that reason in 1930 he was awarded by the nobel prize he became the nobel laureate they were the most important and the prominent illustrious teachers of iacs or indian association for the cultivation of science now i will tell you that what were the main objectives or the aims for the foundation or the emergence of indian association for the cultivation of science one by one the first one was to spread the scientific knowledge without government aids this was the this was a challenge you can just tell your children that this was a challenge that was given to the british government i told you not the british government they started laughing towards the indians that the indians cannot do anything without having their help without having their aids but they were proved wrong this time as because without having any active support from them the means the indians or the special the bengalis dr mahendralal sarkar he become successful to just run this kind of scientific research organization the location of this institution previously it was 210 bow bazar but right now means at present time it's in jadavpur okay number 2 the number 2 or the second most important objective of iacs was to spread and popularize the scientific movement amongst the indians especially the bengali youths or the young generation so that they could be ju just inspired by the uh, means in one hand by the native education and number two in another hand and another hand uh, by the uh, scientific education that could be just provided from the sides of the indians so this was the second issue second objective and number three to encourage the young students with the study of the research the basic science so they could be very much inspired enthusiastic uh, to just uh, continue their research work on the basic science number 4 to make the progress of country science education is needed for uh, developing for the better development of a particular country science is very important without having the proper knowledge of science a country cannot be developed as because scientific inventions the scientific innovations if uh, it can be just taken place so first the development of a particular country also be dependent on that you can see at present time also that the first world uh, means uh, usa russia uh, means and uh, so on the all other countries uh, those are just constituted in the first world their economic condition is so high so up why so why as, as because what is the reason behind that as because they are scientifically very much skilled they scientifically too much developed and for that reason to become scientifically developed for a particular country science is very much needed and and to just keep in mind indian association for cultivation of subject they had just followed the same path over here number 5 cultivation of science for the welfare of the country in future the future depends on science though all the streams all the subjects are equally important but science is absolutely different from all other subjects so that's why uh, extra means uh, privilege was just given extra uh, facility was just given for promoting science subject at the time previously uh, the cultivation of science was not i mean uh, conducted by the uh, indians this is for the very first time when the science and the science uh, research uh works or the instructions were just conducted under the initiative taken by the indians amongst all the indian scientists and the individuals at the time we have just come to know already about dr mohandalal sirkar acharya jagdish chandra bose and uh, who is the founder of the bose institute in the year of 1917 we have just come to know about uh, another nobel laureate his name was cv raman or chandrasekhar venkatesh raman and so on so these uh this was that and not only that uh if you just I mean if we are just talking about from where the financial help was given for uh, just uh, means uh, setting up this kind of educational i mean the scientific research center 
the prominent persons or the means rich persons at, at the time of Kolkata they had supported a lot amongst them uh, a British his name was sir uh, Eugen Lafont he also had supported he also had just given his active support for the promotion for establishing this kind of scientific and research institute in Kolkata uh, 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 also now uh, I'm just coming to the second point that was Calcutta Science College this was another important science college even today also it exists so Calcutta Science College it is commonly known as the University College of Science and Technology the University College of Science and Technology is also known as the Calcutta Science College it's officially however it's known as the Rash Bihari Shiksha Prangan uh, and Calcutta Science College actually it was founded just uh, before the outbreak of the First World War. You know children that the First World War broke out in the year of 1914 on 28th of July. Uh, due to the July crisis or the murder incident of uh, Sarajevo murder incident. Uh, it was in the year of 1914. Uh, 27th of March I think yes 27th of March 1914 Calcutta Science College was founded by one of the most prominent uh, means uh, persons or the eminent persons at the time he was Sir Ashutosh Mukherjee most of you uh, have just known about uh, Sir Ashutosh Mukherjee he was also known as the Bengal uh, the tiger of Bengal uh, due to his uh, charismatic nature and his uh, different activities towards the British as because he was not frightened towards the British so that's why he was also just uh, known as he was affectionately called the um, Tiger of Bengal however he was the founder of the Calcutta Science College he had just founded Calcutta Science College on 27th of March it was in the year of 1914 okay he was the vi uh, vice chancellor of Calcutta University during that time during the contemporary period he was the vice chancellor don't just forget the question may come in your question paper that was the vice chancellor of calcutta uh, university when the uh, calcutta science college was founded the answer will be sir ashutosh mukherjee okay now what about the expenses or the uh, expenditure of money for maintaining and for just building or for constructing you know, for the construction of uh, calcutta science college for um, means uh, promoting for just construction con for the construction of the calcutta science college uh, two uh, eminent persons, two prominent lawyers during that time. One was Sir Taroknath Palit, and number two, he was uh, Taroknath Palit, and uh, number two, Raj Bihari Ghosh. So, Mr. Raj Bihari Ghosh and Taroknath Palit, they had just contributed uh, approximately 37.5 lakh rupees for the construction of Calcutta Science College. And to just give, give them a tribute, uh, the Cal Rajabaja Science College is also just known as the Rajbihari Shiksha Prangan, whereas the Baliganj Science College is also known as the Taroknath Shiksha Prangan. I'm just going to repeat this thing one more time for you as because the question may be very much important and relevant uh, for this year Madhumik examination that uh, to just give them a tribute. Mm, Rajabaja Science College is also known as the Rash Bihari Shiksha Prangan, whereas Baliganj Science College is also known as the Taroknath Shiksha Prangan. As because they had just donated a lot, they had just donated money uh, for the construction of Calcutta Science College. Both of them, they were very rich as because they were the lawyers. So that's why it became um, quite possible for them to just provide or to just give away the money for the construction of Calcutta Science College. So what are the key elements or the key points from this topic? I'm just going to repeat once more. The Calcutta Science College, University College of Science and Technology is also known as the Rajabaja Science College. That is officially known as the Raj Bihari Shiksha Prangan. Yeah, Calcutta Science College was founded by the contemporary uh, vice chancellor of Calcutta University, Sir Ashutosh Mukherjee, in the year of 1914, 27th of March, just before the outbreak of the First World War. Uh, two prominent persons during that time, those who had just contributed a lot for the construction of Calcutta Science College during that time, one of them was Sataraknath Palit, number two was Rajbihari Ghosh. They had just contributed approximately 37.5 lakh rupees for the promotion for the developing of Calcutta Science College to just give them the tribute. Uh, Calcutta Science College means Ras, uh, uh, Rash Bihari Shiksha Prangan, that is Rajabaja uh, Science College is also known as Rash Bihari Shiksha Prangan, whereas Baliganj Science College is also known as Taroknath Shiksha Prangan. Okay. The first batch of teachers included Acharya Prafullo Chandra Roy. I know that you all know the name of the uh, name means Acharya Prafullo Chandra Roy. He was also the founder of uh, Bengal Chemicals and Pharmaceutical Works. Number two, he was obviously C.V. Raman, Chandrasekhar Venkatesh Raman. 
Shishir Kumar Mitra, etc. The legendary 1915 MSc batch comprised those who were the students at the time. Few students, those who were just uh, first MSc batch from Calcutta Science College, they were comprised. And the names are the following. Um, obviously, first one was Satyendranath Bose, Meghnath Saha, and Ganchandra Ghosh, and others. Many uh, prominent or eminent uh, leaders were there. I cannot just take all the names together. So, these are the two different scientific organizations or associations. First one was IACS, Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science, I have told. And the second one is uh, Calcutta Science College. Number three, I'm just going to uh, discuss about Basu Vigyan Mandir or Bose Institute. Bose Institute or Basu Vigyan Mandir was founded in the year of 1917 by Acharya Jagdish Chandra Bose in the year of 1917. Acharya Jagdish Chandra Bose was the pioneer of the modern scientific research in India. So also Bose Institute was the first to introduce the concept of the interdisciplinary research in India. Presently the institute is having total three main campuses. At present, Bose Institute or Basu Vigyan Mandir is having total three different campuses, whereas the main campus, however, is situated at the former residence where Sir Acharya Jagdish Chandra Bose used to just reside. The first campus was there, is there, and near Science College of Kolkata. So, what was the contribution of the Basu Vigyan Mandir or uh, means Bose Institute? You know children that from there only means the radio transmitter we know that a different person who had just introduced uh, or incorporated the idea of the radio transmitter but the, for the very first time this person Acharya Jagdish Chandra Bose he for the first time he had just experimented with all those and um, from his uh, means uh, experiences uh, his experiments uh, the radio transmitter was finally adopted it was just introduced so Bose Institute also just opened a new way for all the new researchers though those who were very much enthusiastic in doing different kinds of researches they could just go over there even today also it's open for all those who are just very much enthusiastic and uh, means uh, they are intellectual those who just want to really they just want to carry forward the study in future also they can just go over there so these three different institutions of the research centers what I have been just means I have just talked uh, today, first one is ISCS, Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science. Number two, it was Calcutta Science College, and number three, Vasu Vigyan Mandir or Bose Institute. In three different uh, research centers, you can follow, you can see children that every single scientific research center was just founded under the initiative or endeavor taken by the Indians only. I have not taken any name of the British. Uh, administrator british governor general viceroy general not a single one they are just favored they had just given their aids for formulating all these things as because the indians they were pretty sure about that that if they uh, they were very much means determined by their oath by their feelings and all these things they could also just preach their ideas they could also just do something better than that of the british the british every time they will just provide they will just give their beggings and all these things and from means by means begging all these things from the hands of the british will just be developed no that is not the fact so that's why this was the alternative ideas as because the indians are also sought to think that now the time has come we are just capable enough now the time has come we have to just show to all the world that we can also do without having the active support from the british so that's why they did so these three points have been just discussed today next day in my next video i will definitely just discuss about the uh, the next topic that will be critic of the colonial ideas regarding education and obviously development of technical education in bengal so till then just stay home stay safe thank you